I'm in South Phoenix. They call this area Levine, Levine but it's part of Phoenix. This is a, it's the intersection of 67th Avenue and uh, Broadway. Broadway in Phoenix is uh, not the glamorous Broadway that uh, may have been named for a guy named Broadway, but I may be wrong on that. It may have just been a real broad street back in the 1800s. Uh, but uh, anyway, that's where Sam's shop used to be. I haven't been down this direction in a year or so. I, I got a video of uh, Sam's shop. Um, you know, I posted it on YouTube for a couple of years back when I was down here. But uh, Sam's shop ain't, ain't there no more. Let me spin you around here. Go past this section. There's a building more homes in here. Let me get past my pick up here. There's homes. They just built a bunch of new homes right in here. And you can't see it. I've got some videos from it. The time I had so much time to kill. I gotta build some more homes in here. Um, I'm, I'd say, you know, they're not, not gated, but they just got a fence around them, you know, a brick wall around them. There's junk out here. People dump stuff, but uh, a bunch of new homes. I'm sure there's people living in there, but uh, I'm sure these people, that's Estrella Mountain, is part of the chain. The chain runs quite a ways. Uh, it, it's, it goes through central East Phoenix and goes quite a ways west. But uh, I don't know if you see it. It's about another half mile south here. But that's a, that's a salt river. The salt river and our free and the Gila all run together and they form the Gila River and then they dump into the Colorado. Uh, you can follow that in the map if you want. You can look up those rivers. They're on Wikipedia if you're interested in salt. But uh, um, I'm sure these people that were living here, I was, I was an adult in 1979 and 1980. And uh, I was driving around and I, we had, in 1979, we had a 100 year flood. In 1980, we had a, had a 500 year flood. I guarantee you, I would, where I'm standing now, even though, it's, even, even though it's maybe probably about a mile from the Salt River, I would have been underwater. It was that volume of water coming through here. Now, the, the Salt River Project is one of the companies that um, manage, you know, they, they provide electricity, but they also provide water. And uh, they've gotten a lot better at, you know, predicting how much water. They've got uh, dams on the upper, upper, the upper Salt and on the Verde and on the, well, there's another, lake, another, another river that comes in there, but uh, they check the, you know, they figure they go up and measure snowpack and figure how much is going to be coming down. And they, they've gotten a lot better because I'm sure they took a lot of crap on what that, like, the, 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 well, there's a, there's no bridge on, um, 67th Avenue. There's only about three or four bridges that, that cross the South River. And a couple of them are washed out. There's only one, or maybe there's one 35th Avenue, there's a Central Avenue Bridge, and there's another one that was still right. But traffic was a nightmare because I remember driving around and, uh, you just didn't cross the Salt River unless you were super desperate, you know, you know doing that. Uh, it was went on for a couple of weeks, but um, as I'm sure that these people living here, they probably they probably weren't even born in 1980. They probably they probably they probably have no idea that uh, their house would have been, I mean, literally under you know, maybe 15, 20 feet of water if it had, if it had been there in 1980. But uh, let me get you around here. So I doubt that's ever going to happen again because they've gotten they've gotten good at figuring out. But it's just I wouldn't buy a, I wouldn't buy a house in the that's, that's actually considered a floodplain because that is considered now well, that county's got paid on the table and it's not 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 technically under the floodplain but actually it is. But that's looking to the east and that's um, what is that that that's uh, I think that's a 202 over there. I think that's the freeway they just built. I've I've never been on it. I've sometimes I gotta sometimes I gotta get a 202, but. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Speaking about uh, the Australis, I think it's uh, something they call South Mountain. It's actually part of the Australis, but uh, you can see way up there is a bunch of antennas. All the radio and TV stations have, uh, well, there's South Mountain and there's North Mountain. That's where they put all the antennas, so they cover the valley with TV and radio and all that. And uh, they do a good job of it. Okay, I'm gonna say goodbye here from uh, where Sam's shop used to be. Just remember it. It, I don't remember ever it, the building was vacant first time I remember seeing it. I don't remember ever there. I don't. I don't remember ever seeing a working business there. But apparently, sometime in the past, it had been. Bye bye.